Adult ACLS 2020. After assessing the CBC consciousness work of breathing color, it was found that the patient was unconscious, not breathing, gasping. Begin CPR according to the BLS procedure. See adult BLS. Asterisk asterisk key points in CPR are algorithm, effective chest compressions and determination of the reversible cause, 5H5T. When the defibrillator arrives, attach an EKG monitor and it can be distinguished into shockable rhythm or non-shockable rhythm as algorithm. Algorithm. VF, private. 1. Shock biphasic 120 to 200 J as recommended by the manufacturer e.g. Zoll 120J, Philips 150J, as soon as possible. 1. At least give chest compression greater than 30S first unless VF occurs between monitors and defibrillation is immediate and overexposure causes myocardial dysfunction, then resume CPR immediately. 2. Open IV, IO access send blood tests for etiology such as VBG, POCT blood chemistries, POCT glucose. 3. Two minutes before CPR, have the recorder notify to feel the pulse and charge the energy in advance before each ECG, because if it is private VF, shock can occur immediately. 3. Alternatively, perform chest compressions during charging and resume compressions immediately after defibrillation, if organized rhythm check pulse. 4. Subsequent shock underscore shock refractory arrhythmias can be fixed or escalating energy levels depending on manufacturer recommendations. Zoll recommends 120-150-200-200. 4. Max power. 5. Initiate epinephrine 1 mg diluted to 10 ml IVQ 3 to 5 minutes after second defibrillation. 6. Consider inserting an advanced airway. ETT or supraglottic advanced airway. Secure the ETT and confirm the location with ETCO2, or other means such as esophageal detector device, ultrasound. 7. Administer amiodarone 300 mg IV push or lidocaine 1.5 mg per kilogram IV after third defibrillation, refractory VF, amiodarone 150 mg IV bolus if given second time. 7. Asterisk at least 30 to 60 CPR should be continued after infusion. 7. Seconds before another shock. 8. If there is physiologic evidence of ROSC, sudden increase in arterial waveform or ETCO2, a confirmation interruption in chest compressions can be performed. P. Asystole. 1. Open IV, IO access, send blood tests to determine the cause as well. 2. Administer epinephrine 1 mg diluted to 10 ml IVQ 3 to 5 minutes as soon as possible. 3. Consider inserting an advanced airway. 4. ECG after CPR every 2 minutes, check pulse if organized rhythm. 2. Effective chest compressions. 1. Compress the chest 2 minus 2.4 inches, 5 to 6 centimeters, deep and at a rapid rate of 100 to 120 per minute releasing the chest completely. 2. Interfere with chest compressions as little as possible. 3. Don't help breathing too much. 4. Switch chest compressions every 2 minutes, or sooner if tired. 5. If advanced airway is not in place, give 30 to 2 CPR or 1 breath every 6 seconds, 10 per minute. 6. If advanced airway is inserted, Give one breath every six seconds, 10 per minute. 7. Use audiovisual feedback devices to control the effectiveness of CPR. 8. Physiologic parameters were used to control the effectiveness of CPR, including quantitative waveform capnography attempts to achieve a minimum PETCO2 greater than 10 mm of mercury with a target of greater than 20 mm of mercury. With ROSC PETCO2 rises to 35 to 40 mm of mercury. Arterial relaxation diastolic pressure, but no clear figures are available to recommend. 3. Review the cause 5H5T. Do a secondary survey. Take a history. SAMPLE, SNS, allergy, medication, past history, last meal, event, physical examination, 
lab, pot glucose, electrolytes, BBG, and bedside US to help determine the cause. Hypoxia, hypovolemia, hydrogen ion, hypo, hyperkalemia, hypothermia, toxins, tamponade, cardiac, tension pneumothorax, thrombosis, pulmonary, thrombosis, coronary, Asterisk asterisk Thai Resuscitation Council recommends 6-H6T with added hypoglycemia and trauma. 1. Narrow complex P is often caused by hypovolemia or mechanical problems such as cardiac hyperinflation, pulmonary embolism, myocardial rupture, for which ultrasound is used to help diagnose US does not interfere with CPR. 2. Wide complex P metabolic, hyperkalemia, drug toxicity, TCA, AMI, LV failure. Adjuncts to CPR. 1. Ultrasound may be considered to determine a reversible cause, e.g. cardiac tamponade, or to view cardiac motion in the P if it does not interfere with CPR, but it is not recommended as a prognostic recommendation for stopping CPR. 2. O2 supplement provides maximum FiO2 during CPR. 3. Sudden increase in ETCO2 or diastolic pressure, or arterial waveform indicating ROSC during chest compressions, or ECG in organized rhythm. Termination of resuscitation, TOR. 1. The BLS TOR rule, consisting of 1. Non-witnessed arrest. 2. No ROSC. 2. No shock delivery was able to stop CPR 20 minutes after resuscitation in the patient who had not been transported. 2. The ALS TOR rule included 1. Non-witnessed arrest. 2. No bystander CPR. 3. No ROSC after full ALS. 4. No AED shock delivery. 3. In cases that do not meet all criteria, they must continue to operate. 3 resuscitation and transfer the patient to the hospital. 4. In patients who had undergone intubation and ETCO2 less than 10-20 minutes after ALS had a very poor prognosis. 4. But this should not be the sole deciding factor in stopping CPR. Alternative CPR technique. 1. Mechanical CPR device, load distributing band or mechanical pistol device, is considered for use in situations where chest compressions are not effective. 1. Minimize interference with CPR from the installation to start using the device. 2. Active compression decompression CPR and impedance may be used if equipment and personnel are trained. 3. Interposed abdominal compression CPR may be considered if adequately trained personnel are available. Extracorporeal CPR. 1. ECPR may be considered in cases where cardiac arrest is due to a cause that can be resolved for a limited time. Thanks for watching.